All right, John, it's Friday. We're listening to l- lo-fi, uh, chill hop beats to study to or whatever. Yeah. And we're going we're gonna to talk about some coffee. You ready to talk about a little bit of coffee? Let's do some coffee talk. A little coffee talk. Welcome back, everybody, to Laid Back Dojo. I'm Laid Back Jeff. I'm John. I'm always <laughs> laid back, so it doesn't matter. Oh, damn it. I forgot John is laid back. I'm Jeff. I'm ready to fucking talk about coffee. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been waiting to play this game for a little while. Yeah. Uh, I've been really oh, interested it's in, in it. Seattle. Yep. What's your name? Barista. I am the barista. Uh, what about what if we instead of barista we were like uh, Batista? That way. What if our name was Barista? But we were a bear. Oh, what do you think this is? A, you think this is a Red Dead video, John? You think we should be a barista? Dude, I would go to a coffee shop where there was a barista. Um, I don't know. Even though I'm afraid of bears, I think I would still, I think I would still let a bear make me coffee. Yeah. So, right. welcome barista, change barista. Uh, so we've got a regular Play game. game, endless gallery and options. All right. I assume that since this is like a visual novel that we're gonna have like, yeah. All right. That's fine. Um, all right, so yeah, this is a game about uh, being a barista in a Seattle that is full of, like, magical creatures, um, like elves and orcs and shit. It's like uh, Shadowrun, but without all of the deckers and street samurais and stuff. Nice. I don't know. Uh, I used to live in Seattle. It wasn't in the year 2020, though. A city filled with dreams and madness. That's, I was... It tracks. It tracks. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. Oh, shit. Is this in the Bright Universe, John? It might be. (laughs) A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. That's kind of all times game. I don't, you know. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. Also, all times, right? This isn't a specific... Remember in 1967 when people dreamed about whatever they wanted to be? But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Okay. Cool. Is that... <laughs> oh, man, look at these guys. You got an orc and, like, some uh, some devils. Uh, is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. Oh, boy. When the dwarves have emerged from their games to start their automotive empires. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, when the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. Hacking of a different nature. I bet orcs... Oh, that was... Ooh, that's a nice one. Nice one, John. I bet the uh, orcs are really mean in YouTube comments. <laughs> uh, they're not trolls. They're orcs. Oh, that's true. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. Okay, so we've got orcs. We've got dwarves. We've got elves. We've got humans. What about cat ladies and, like, devils? Because I feel like I see some of those there, too. It is a city that holds many dreams and stories of its people. Okay. This is really kind of weird. <laughs> Most of these stories are left untold. Stories untold? No, no, we're not playing a stories untold. <laughs> uh, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. I find wood. I, I find a lot of embrace in bricks and wood and glass. Uh, they are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. Okay. Oh, there we go. Is it Friday night? Bet that guy's playing uh, Wonderwall. <laughs> Is that like a Catman back there? Like an old Catman with it's a Wolford big Brimley. cat mustache? Oh. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. Uh, a place where people share their stories, and these are their stories. <laughs> All right. Well said. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. It's like I was drifting towards Shatner and then just went off in a different direction. So Tuesday, just another Tuesday. Ah. You go to the coffee shop, John? You ever go to coffee uh, shops? I have been. I mean, there was a time in my life where I went to the coffee shop a lot. Oh. Well, oh, it's you. Oh, you're going to be the barista? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to do Bobo hey, and Muppets. Hey, no. hey, barista, how's the night so far? I'm Freya. It's calm as usual. 
We've got a slight problem, though. Is it about drowning your troubles in coffee? Did somebody take the sign too literally? Did an orc just, like, get a bowl and then... Huh? What, ha what happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. Uh-oh. I don't have half of my ingredients today. <laughs> okay. Man, that's, that's a bummer. Super bummer. Don't worry, though. Oh, okay. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. What is, what is that? <laughs> That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. Oh, okay. The whole thing. You're our first customer after all. Okay. Don't worry. Take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. What? So I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again. Slower. You got that right. What are you writing now? Pornography. Nice. Uh, do you remember my plan to write pornography? Uh-oh. I like the little silhouettes in the background. Yeah, yeah. What's going nice. on? Ah. <laughs> pardon the interruption. What was that? The machine is ready. Oh, it's alive. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Uh. Yes, please. Put it in my eye. Just, just throw it in my face. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone. You, the worst barista. <laughs> if you forget how to make espresso. Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. I need it, man. Give it to me. All right. Uh, check the phone. Check the phone. Tomo Dachil. Is that like a? Oh, it's like Facebook? Yeah. We're friends with Freya and Georgie and Gala. It's Keanu. Yeah. It's, it's sad Keanu. With okay. a cat. With also a cat. named Keanu. Yeah. There's Georgie. And there's, there's Freya. Oh, look at me. I love coffee so much. I drink it on top of buildings. Look, a Spider-Man of coffee. Brew pad. Wait, is this, can I change the soundtrack? Tenderhearted. It smells good. Chill and smile. By Army. Cup of sweetness. Come closer. Okay. Got lonely space. Silent rain star over hot cold. Stay awake. Same. Stay. same that's okay. Yeah. We'll just I don't I just, just put it on one. And we got some we got some news stories. Your free, Your free trial will start tomorrow. Oh, oh Thank you for subscribing to all of our fictional plan free trial. Do you do a lot of um you know, like the New York Times, and it's like, oh, you've only got three more free articles this month before we're going to start charging you. And I'm or, like, you know, you get two paragraphs down. And it's like, oh, you want to read the rest of this? Yeah. Uh, all right. We got cafe latte, cappuccino, dark chocolate, espresso, green tea latte. John, do any of these drinks appeal? Uh, I know you're not. You're more of like a soda guy, right? Oh, uh, you know, I, 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 I've been. You drink you know, a tea? I've, I'd, get a matcha? You know, I've a. Uh, Italian, dark chocolate, espresso. I've done, you know, frappuccinos. Okay, been known to do some cold coffee. Caramel macchiato. Uh, okay, espresso. Oh, okay. So espresso is coffee, 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 coffee. So yeah, I'm assuming she wants an espresso. So then we're gonna get base. Wait, do I have to close this? So it's coffee, yeah. coffee, coffee, coffee. Nice. Brew it. I love the art of this game. It's really like this is nice and striking. It seems like man, this seems like the perfect. I should have been playing this game last night when it was uh, sleeting. It was oh, like snowing God. for just like a What's couple funny hours. Is I went to bed early. Yeah, uh, and then woke up in the middle of the night uh, because someone was messaging me because they told me they were going to message me and I forgot. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, so I missed the whole snow thing. Oh man, mm, that aroma! It smells like hot liquid garbage. <laughs> ah, exactly what I needed! I'm ready to write fast now! Anyway, where were we? You're planning to do something. Oh, yeah, that, uh, it's going to write porn. Uh, it's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like we're the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yeah, I'm going to write... What a novel it. idea. Oh, you... Bear motherfucker. Sounded so simple when I was making the plan. <laughs> the plan was write a book, period. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. 
Uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> I hand you that Joker card. No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about, you crazy person? <laughs> you know who owns the Evening Whispers? You, do, you, do you? GRE Media, right? That's right. The, the Gram. Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, it's like when a thing happens and then you're like, yeah, that thing. Do I need... I know you're a bear, but okay. Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Mm. <laughs> Come on, don't look at me like that. It was a good idea. Are you for real? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am for real. I know it was stupid, but I, I was just like, yeah, let's do this. So how did they react? I got punched in my hair. Thank, thankfully, he'd see my short stories. So he challenged me to a, to a haiku fight. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings, make a puppet go, and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. <laughs> that sounds great. Oh, it's great. That's you, by the way. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have any time to do both? Fuck my job. That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll kick me. Out. Ouch. Well, what? at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't, don't you look at me. Don't look at me, you bear. How far along are you? Uh, uh, does watching YouTube videos count as being far along? <laughs> I assume the number of words you've written is not far from the number zero. Oh, man. Hey, shut up, bear. I've written some stuff, bear. May I please see it? Uh, no. That's, it's, uh, no, it's a secret. It's on Twitter. It's so bad that after I read it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. Oh, man, I don't know. <clears throat> Thank so, you. zero. That's, uh, hoofed. Yes, zero words. I really need to finish it in, like, two weeks. I need to finish my book in two weeks. I just followed C. Robert Cargill on Twitter, but it's not helping me at all. I use the extra week to do some polish and editing. Sounds like a plan. Yes, need Adderall. If you can pull it off. I'd, I'll pull something off. I Don't know. flirt with me, I'm a bear. <laughs> I bite the heads off a of fish. Uh, pull your head off and use your head like a hat. Go make friends with weird cowboys. You gotta be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm gonna find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place is a, could be of service. Oh, looks like someone else is coming in. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Oh, welcome. It's another lady. Hi there. Uh, are you gonna do both? All yeah, right. Sure, why not? <laughs> Hello? Hey, good evening. For here, miss. I like the way her phone has little devil horns on it. That's yeah, pretty yeah, cool. It's nice. It's a nice little. Also, she's smoking. You don't see that very yeah, often. Yeah. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. Coffee. <laughs> what do you recommend? Coffee. That depends highly on your mood. Are you in the mood for coffee? I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Yeah, those boyfriends like coffee. Not planning to be awake all night. Tea. So, definitely no coffee. No, we only serve coffee here. <laughs> How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. 
You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Anything with chocolate in it, please. All right. So. so not coffee, but chocolate. So go to the brew pad. What happened? We got, we got oh. a new. Said there was a thing. Okay, never mind. I just thought there might be a thing. All right. So probably the. Uh, Get off the coffee tab. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Wrong thing. Okay. So probably like dark chocolate, right? Yeah. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. You're gonna melt down a Hershey bar and put it in a cup? No, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> Cocoa powder, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. There you go. I put you chocolate, chocolate, and put a little milk in. Okay. Yeah, brew it up. Also, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, uh, it's almond milk. I swear. Oh, latte art. Can we make our own little latte art? Oh shit. Yes, uh, you can. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna draw something here. What do we? What do we draw? Right, say pour milk. Okay. I don't know how to do this, John. I'm not a barista. Uh, uh huh. What? And then you. Etch. You write my write my name in it. Wait, etch? Is that like a smaller? Oh, oh, I see. Okay. I'll make a rage select. That's an R, and that's an S. Okay, I don't know how to make milk work. So you put it in there, and then you take this thing, and then you like make a little. You make a little thing. Ooh, look at all this swirly doos. Wee, it's a dinosaur sort of. See, it's got a little dinosaur head, and then a little. It's like a chicken feet. It's got a little tail. It's like a bird. It's a goose. It's an untitled goose game. Untitled goose chocolate. There you go. Serve it. Have one of these. One cup of chocolate of goodness. Thank you. So warm. <laughs> okay. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend, huh? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. Talking to people like a real boy. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. You gotta wait till two when the bars get out. Because the only coffee shop that's open past midnight is mostly empty. <laughs> now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? People need to be awake at night, lady. Definitely not. <laughs> Yep, that's what she said. <laughs> okay, so we're all in agreement that the business then is why? bad. I just love doing it. I'm a nocturnal creature. I'm a bear. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. Oh, man. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? Wait, did we just go over this? That's a secret. Also, I'm a bear. Barista here is damn rich. That's a secret. He's a rich ass bear. Oh, really? <laughs> She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Barista can manage. Uh, okay. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll have, still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. Okay. Strange By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere to go. I'm homeless. I'm a rider who works best at night in a coffee shop. So not many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good rider, you know. Yes, I write a lot of erotic stories. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Yep. Shut up! <laughs> what is the facial expression? <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. Is it? Is it really? What kind of things do you cover? Sports. I cover stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. The weirdest. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? I did all of them. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you. <laughs> I wrote most of them, but not all of them. 
That's so cool. Is it? Is it? There's there's some stories written by someone named Freya. I hate her stories. <laughs> I hope you're not her. <laughs> I no. That, that's somebody else. That's my sister. I'm Raya. I don't even know what to write about. Oh, here comes my boyfriend. Oh, this guy. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. What's up? Hello. Hi. Would you like to order <laughs> something? Oh, my God. Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? I'm a jackass. That's what kind of order it is. I don't really know what to order in a coffee shop. I was born yesterday. Do you have any preferences, sir? What's he got? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on top. So you want a latte? That's you want a you want a latte? You it's got to be bitter though. Well, coffee's bitter. Two coffees and a milk seems like a latte to me, right? Bitter, bitter. A little milk. Brew that shit up. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. And we now gotta, gotta do latte art. Gotta draw some latte art. Let's see if I can. Do you think I can? Do you think I can get a dick on this, John? What do you think? Yes. I'm, I'm gonna try. I can make some. Like, can we start with? Why is this? Is the cup on like an incline? What can the you, fuck? Can you move the cup? Uh, you can rotate the cup. Yeah. So like, pour and rotate. Or can you pour and rotate? Like that? Yeah. And now draw a dick. Now draw a dick in it. Doop. Doop, 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 doop. I got your latte art right here, fancy boy. There you go. That's enough There's of a, a dick. There's a latte to this <laughs> art. <laughs> I drew a penis. There you go. Here's your order, <laughs> you dick. Is this a penis? That's cute. I love penises. Perfect. Okay. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. I'm stupid. It's okay. Baileys? Is that my is that my name? I was having a nice chat with them. Oh. Oh, yeah? I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's, like the drink. Oh, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Oh, okay. I'm Freya! Nice to meet both of you. I'm Barista. I'm a bear. Oh. I had noticed that you were a bear. Hey, did you know that Freya is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh. Oh, really? I've done work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. You should see my latte art. My dicks are way better. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with, that Steve. Oh, really? <laughs> huh? No, he isn't. That was a joke. Way worse clients I've had. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Ha <laughs> ha, come on. Uh, he's my brother. Don't talk like that. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. It's, your girlfriend's a demon, right? She can tell us about it. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? <laughs> the only bad customers this late at night are the lost drunks or criminals. <laughs> it's kind of a <laughs> kind of a big jump there, huh? <laughs> like, hey, man, I'm trying to find a bus. And then just like, you know, give me it's all your money. Stick up. Give me all your Don't money. Don't make it a murder. <laughs> Give me your money, bear. That sounds really bad. Nah, there he's the handle. I'm a bear. <laughs> That's because you're good with your bear hands. Get it? Bear hands. I just give him a bear hug. Ah, not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. 
You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever I'm going to write. It's something. I don't know. So I'll leave you two. In the, in the hands of a friendly neighborhood bear. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. In the bathroom. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. Hey, hey, hey. I'll try. <coughs> God, why do I always do this? Uh, good luck. I just have to pick like the voice that is the hardest in the world to do. Ugh. Let's try not to do Batman again. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here's good. Okay. So how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. Just collected 300 souls. <laughs> Finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. You know, John, I, I don't know if this is better or worse than I love you, Colonel Sanders, a KFC dating adventure. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I mean, they haven't referenced chicken once, so... I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, he was happier than usual. Oh, intrigue. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. Oh, boy. Is this how normal people talk to each other? I feel like they want to just collectively slap both of these guys. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yes! I had to kill him! You know the memes that depict terrible clients? He was one, and I murdered him. Oh, she, she murdered her. She fits all the bills. I go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should just make a meme about her. <laughs> yeah, that'll show her. Fucking <laughs> put some impact font over her and lose my current project for a minute of laughter. Ha ha ha, might be worth it. You should ask Bear Easter here how to deal with annoying clients. <laughs> oh, yeah? How do you normally deal with annoying customers? I'm a bear. I hit them with my bear claw and not the pastry. The, one, the ones you don't need your fists to take care of. See how specific I am about your ad lib, John? <laughs> I do have my own methods. Ooh, sinister. But it wouldn't be wise <laughs> to talk about customers to other customers. Oh, okay. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Oh, good. she's getting like some kind of devil call. Wait, is that Tesla logo? Work for Tesla? Huh? Huh? Uh, eh? Your parents? Yes. How is Mr. Satan? So you've talked to them. I did. It didn't end well. No. What did they say? STFU. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Do you have a disease that keeps you from speaking complete sentences? Maybe. Should we kill them? They won't give us a chance at all, huh? Anyone bought an elf? What? Dude, you've got 20 years too. You just have horns. That's what they said. Stupid racist parents. How about you? Oh, my grandma is really racist but mostly about orcs. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. Well, they kicked you out? What happened to, what, what just happened to the screen? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't even, I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. Selling elf magic in dark alleys on the side. But still. You don't know what they said about you last night. Oh, good Lord. All right. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Just you, curious. No, you don't want to know. It was really no, I, bad. I want to know. Is it about my race, I assume? No, it was. Yes, but it, I'm not telling you because it was really terrible. Don't ask me again. I want to know. I can't. Just the same shit, different uh, species, mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, holy divers, about our immortality, about how even if I outlive you, what? I n nothing. What? I about how if you outlive me, no other elves w would want to be with an elf. 
that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. I mean, she's like a straight up succubus. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, that's what he said. That's that's exactly what they said. Son of a bitch. Yep, that my dad's super racist. So that's it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. I don't like my old man. And he you is know, old. He's immortal. Will never ever agree. Just like it's the like Romulans and the Capulets. Something like that. We can't just continue like this. What do you mean? Let's run away together. Oh, they don't know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been, having a secret relationship that my parents don't approve of. That never ends badly without them knowing. And then what? Then we'll open up a jam store. we we'll make artisanal jams and everybody will buy them. Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? Yes, we'll move to Wisconsin where nobody cares. We're not like humans, you know. <laughs> we can't just elope. <laughs> the, uh, Barry's just like, amen to that. <laughs> and you won't get permission because you're too old. Hey, man, I'm still with it. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I will throw away my Blu-rays of family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. I love that show. <laughs> You'll lose your immortality. Ah, fuck it. If I sp spend the rest of my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. Ah. <laughs> okay. You're making this hard for both of us. That's what she said. Of course I did. I just said it. <laughs> then you don't need any more reasons. You got, let's go. Let's finish these coffees and go get married. Move to Wisconsin. You know, we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look. You don't even need to look deep down. You don't even need to look deep down. Okay. Trust me. We can do this together. Starcross lovers. It always ends well. I can't think about this clearly right now. Uh oh. We'll talk later. I'm, just, a, I'm drunk on this chocolate. Do you need a shot of espresso? I, the bear could get you. Like, Don't like, bring me into this. Like a gin and tonic, maybe? Lua, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> Lua, I'm sorry. You know, this is our problems, bear man. <laughs> That's all right. I'm used to it. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. I'm going to give up my immortality so that I can live with a soul-sucking succubus. <laughs> I hope so, too. Do you have any alcohol? <laughs> We're going to get lit tonight. Sadly, no. What, just a coffee shop. What about mulberry wine? That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? No, that's poison of my kind. I'll take one. All right. Well, you know what, John? I think we're just about out of time here. All right, let's I, do it. I think we can kind of see where this is going. I don't know. I mean, it's like, you know, visual novel makes yeah. it kind of like the, the kind of like that with the Valhalla. I keep forgetting what the name of that thing was. It was like the green tea, milk and milk, uh, green tea, milk and milk, green tea with double milks, green tea and a double milk latte. Brew it up. Draw the art. Um, so anyway, hey everybody, hit the like, subscribe button. Let us know what you think of this down in the comment section. Um, is it uh, is it good? Is it bad? Um, what what is it? Uh, Patreon.com forward slash rage select is where you can go to help us out by kicking us a few bucks, and in return we'll kick you bonus videos that nobody else gets to see. Look, it's a tree, John. See, it's a little tree, little branches. No, oh, because okay, he's an yeah. elf. He comes from the woods. You yeah, know? there you go. That's what you want to do. Remind him of his family. Yeah, and put some little little leaves. I can't really make leaves with this. Uh, yeah, patreon.com forward slash rage slay. Kick us some bucks. Let us know how much you care. Um, and uh, yeah, we have some Amazon links down below. I got a feeling that this probably isn't a physical release for this game. But as long as you click on the links, you can buy anything through Amazon. And we get a little money for it. And it works out really well. Uh, remember, it always works out for star-crossed lovers that run away from home, especially if they live in a magical universe full of fairies and elves and bears that serve lattes. Join us back here tomorrow for more Spooky Time USA with Fatal Frame 2. And we'll see you then.